everyone, welcome back to Winterfell Camp on Thursday, October 4th. This is just a regular, October 3rd, this is just a regular video, not the copy with the lad uh, thing. Anyways, uh, I just got a text from Randy. Him and Mel are coming down to do some bow hunting, because bow deer hunting, bow hunting has started. So, they're on their way down, so I gotta go put some feed in the back. I told Randy, I said, you should have given me a day or two so that, you know, they can figure out the feeds in there. And I could have weed whipped it. Now I don't want to weed whip it because it'll scare any deer that's out there off. So, anyways, uh, another little story. We'll tell it on the way out. I actually finally made gumbo since Norm died. I haven't made gumbo since Norm died. I haven't been able to bring myself to do it. Same reason, reasoning uh, with Norm, with the boat. I, uh, you know, it's just illogical. I can't say anything different. It just is what it is. So anyway, um, I just came back. It's on the vlog, but I just came back from the doctors for my feet. feet. Everything's good there. So anyways, they're on their way down, so they're going to be here in an hour. So I got to walk out there now. I just made a cup of coffee. I'm not going to be able to put them on the uh, video. Randy is not liking to be on video, let alone YouTube. So anyway, we're just taking a walk out. Uh, True, um, True picked up the parts yesterday uh for the bike and uh <clears throat> excuse me and um probably have that in a day or two i told him i want to go do some riding while the weather's nice gonna fish this weekend and uh trout fishing randy may come with me we might go to mosque lake which is rainbow trout so happy to do that deep enough there i can play with the uh, the new scouty downrigger if he doesn't I may go there or I end up, I might just go to Shabomika Lake because that's, you know, I can do lake trout there this time of year. So um, it's year round, there's no restrictions because right now in the other lakes they breed, eh? So that lake, they don't breed naturally, they're stocked. Oh, what that is on the ground? Anyway, uh, see, I wanted to weeb whip, whip all this, but it might be better just to leave it because then the deer. You know, they don't think uh, there's too much going on here with humans. See, I don't know, can you see Randy's stand? It's still there. He'll probably check it because it hasn't been touched. Oh, it's all those little... See, I, I hate that because I have to step through them in the... Um, well, I should have brought some gloves. Oh, well. It's just dirty leaves. It's not like it's dog shit or something. Come on. I don't want this stuff to get wet. Well, I guess it's gonna have to get wet. There's about half of it there. And then the other one is gonna be over there. Walk through all these little prickly bushes. If I could ever hire somebody I can trust, I wanna burn all this. Get this opened up. Yeah, see this one you can barely see. I'm gonna to have to weed whip it, but not today. And I gotta get the ATV going so that I can um, go and get some deer apples. I picked apples, you know, like from the wild apple trees. Sorry. a little bit out here not that it's going to make a huge difference but well you know what since we're already here i can always reheat the coffee the mic well it's in the microwave waiting for me to come heat it i already made it i got laundry on the go today as well let's check the ladies while we're here i won't turn the camera toward them otherwise i'll have to leave it on rumble so i'll just keep the camera aimed towards me and i'll keep my words you know, it doesn't get the YouTube sensor people all bent out of shape. Ooh, they look good though. Those two feedings did them a world of good. We've had rain. Oh yeah, the buds have literally doubled in size. Can I say that? Oh yeah. And we still got some time yet to put in. So, you know, the weather isn't changing that quick. Um, tomorrow I'll... I'll uh, turn the sprinkler on I got it back put in its place 
I should have brought the little thing, but the trichomes obviously aren't ready. Well, the cooler weather will quicken the pace of that. But anyway, it's good. I'm happy. Oops, sorry there, YouTube. <laughs> Not. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll turn the sprinkler on tomorrow. And then uh, I'll run that. See, now when's the last time they got fed? It's getting on a week. We've had two rains in that time. And I watered. So no, I'm not going to feed them yet. They've got lots of, lots of nutrients. Um, <clears throat> I'll feed them one more time for the season and that'll be it. So it'll be how long can I push to harvest them? I'm gonna say for the next two weeks, anyway, the weather looks pretty good. This coming weekend, not this weekend, but the weekend after Thanksgiving. And I've checked the temperatures right till there and it's nothing even approaching zero at night. And the days are 15 to 18 Celsius, so good enough. Today, it's about 20 Celsius. There's a nice breeze coming from the Southwest. Oh, Joe the Blue Jay is back, I see. I've been putting seeds out for the creatures. So, yeah, I want to um, pull out the totes. I, I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that uh, bed yet. It's, I, 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 don't, I think I'm gonna get rid of it, put it back at the dump. It's just a pain in the balls. I've got a regular cot that pulls up a lot smaller. This thing here just takes up way too much space. Anyways, and I can't keep it inside as a rollaway bed to sleep on because I probably could actually. I, I might have a place for it. But anyway, I want to get the totes out. We're still going to try and go camping, but I'm going to at least put one tote together as, you know, camping kit. It'll be full, but I'll have everything we need. So, okay. So there should be some happy guys. <laughs> But see, now the trick is it's got to be there a few days and they start to smell it. And the best thing to do, too, would be to put some apples in there. And that'll really, the smell will draw them in because they're, you know, they're ripening now, eh? So it'll be overripe pretty soon. Um, yeah, the thing with the gumbo, I haven't been able to make gumbo since Norm died. Just something, he really loved my gumbo. I've already talked about it on the vlog. Um... So I'm just, uh, tastes really good. It's like one of the best ones I've ever made. So there we go. Um, I'll leave this for now. There'll probably be other stuff. We're gonna, I already restrung one of the new fishing rods. Um, actually, maybe we'll go do that. I'll heat up a coffee here. Um, say hi, Goldie. What's going on? My little kitty. Hey, my little gold and precious. Hey, okay. yeah, you good girl. Um, Mr. Blackie, what's going on, big guy? How much, eh? They're happy guys. Hey, Wally, you've been getting lots of petting. He's been pretty demanding, honestly. For him to demand petting, not not normal for him. I hate this tripod. We're gonna get rid of it. I gotta get another tripod. Oh, the gumbo, the gumbo. I'm so happy about this gumbo. Oh, look at that gumbo. Oh, what's this? You're on the washing machine and it's running, Goldie. Is that not going to freak you out? Eh? No? Okay, well, whatever. I'll show you guys uh, the, the fishing rod I just rigged up. I put 10 pound uh, red braid on it. 10 pound floral as my leader. I usually run about six foot a liter. You can go shorter, but six feet. You know, that way there, if you you know end up losing and lose a foot or whatever, you don't have to restring everything and retie knots and stuff like that. So hang on here. Two chipmunks, look at this. Is there gonna be Battle of the Chipmunks? No sign of Marvin. Well, we know where he is. He's at the campground, Sobble Beach. 
crazy fucking squirrel. I can't, I still can't believe he did that. Rode all the way up underneath that truck. Okay, so there is, this one's on my old Cardinal reel. Oh, sorry, green uh, 10 pound. So, anyway, so it's ready to go for some light. Uh, I can troll with it or I can cast um, if I don't want to use the big cat trolling reels. Now, the next one I'm rigging up is my new ugly stick. It's going to be getting... I'm doing it again. I'm going to have a thousand fishing rods when I vow I would never do that. I'm not sure which reel yet I'm going to use. These are all ones Norm found over the years or he bought used ones and just left them with me. I think I'll keep the... Now see, this is the one my dad... This is from 1962, this reel, but it doesn't work worth a shit. Can't cast with it. It's too stiff, too old. I think I might go with this puppy. It's the... Uh, Ryobi GX30. It's a, kind of big for that rod, actually. This is a heavier one. That one should probably go on that rod, and I'll get rid of the bait or the trolling wheel. There's another Rizzo. No, that's a Zebco. I don't know. Okay, so it'll be this one then. Which one is this funny colored one? Mitchell. Mitchell 830. Perfect. So Mitchell's good. I, oh, yeah, the bearings. Look at that. The bearings are. Okay, so there's the reel for this one, and uh, I'm just going to rig it the same. It's a little longer. Um, I suppose I could put some 30-pound, but that's just overkill for here. You know, I've got the bigger uh, rods if I want to, uh, uh, lines and stuff like that, if I want to do that. I've got the lead core, and uh, I, you know, I really don't really, I don't ever see a need to go past, like with braid anyways, 10-pound, I've got lots, like, uh, you know, if it breaks, uh, I got a fish that big on, well, oh well. I am not. I don't get freaked out like a lot of fishermen do. So, um, I, you know what I could do, and I should maybe order, is I'll order some 20-pound uh, braid and 20-pound floral, and that'll do a 20-pound setup, and maybe that'll be this one here. Or, I can do that with the heavier rod and reel, like this reel here, and that's the heavier rod, which right now has... Uh, an old, an old, oh, that, that's that counter reel. Yeah, maybe I'll retire that one. It's a pen. Um, but maybe I'm going to put this on and that'll be my big heavier 20 pound and I can, I don't break it. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. This one's going to go on there and I'll rig it up as a 20 pound. I've got 30 pound line here, but I, all my floral is 10. So I need some heavier floral if I'm going to do that so I'll put that over there because somebody's bound to step on it and I don't want that happening so yeah oops last thing you want is a goddamn there Whew. sit down for a minute and enjoy my coffee even though it's not a coffee la uh, coffee and a vlog so, anyway, so, uh, yeah, so I'm waiting for them. See, this is the old, uh, what is this one? This is made in France, this one. This is, well, that's a Mitchell too, a 301A, made in France? I didn't know Mitchell was made in France. Anyways, uh, that's got some old mono on it, but I don't expect uh, the bearings to be, Jesus Christ, they are in good shape. Uh, never mind, then. Before I say anything, and then there's this cheap Zebco. This I can't, I'm going to keep. Uh, I need a. Uh, I need a. I need a small, cheapy for uh, one of my ice fishing rods. And well, there it is. So I'll put some 10 pound uh, floral on it and be done with it. Well, 10 pound. I'll put some 10 pound braid on it and then some 10 pound floral and then it'll be my jigging. You know, ice ice fishing jigging setup. So yeah. All right, well, there's really not much else to uh, tell. It's all in the vlog. I just wanted to uh, start this video because I'm um, going to be doing some stuff the weekends here. So we'll do some regular video with that on this camera. Okay, everyone. So I'll see you later. This is part one of I don't know what yet.
<laughs> fishing stuff because I'm seriously we're gonna do fishing sometime Saturday or Sunday I gotta keep an eye on the weather okay I have to